Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm going to be walking you through making some modifications to the singleton implementation that we did from last time. I actually found that the way that we implemented it didn't follow the Unity standards. And also if I hit play, I'm getting this warning that says you're trying to create a mono behavior using the new keyword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make some modifications so that you know, if you're implementing a singleton, you're implementing it the right way. So I'm going to go and open up the game manager. And let's give it a second. And just to kind of walk you through what we were doing before, we were creating a private static game manager instance, which is completely fine. And we also were creating, a, we created a property called instance. We also were checking to see if the instance was null and then creating a game manager explicitly. This is what Unity is complaining about. You actually never want to create an object that, that way, especially when it inherits from mono behavior. You instead want to create a game object and then attach the component to that game object. So let's make some changes so that we follow Unity standards. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're still going to check for if instance is null. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that I have that I don't have any objects of game manager already in the scene before I create it. So this is actually search for the entire scene and then determine if we have an object of time game manager already. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm still going to check to see if it's null because if we found another instance, we still want to know if we need, if we can create a new one. I'm also going to create a new game up game object and I'm going to give this game object the game manager type name then we're going to say instance equal game object and we're going to actually add the component so this is what I was saying that we need to follow as far as like the standards of unity so this is going to add a component of type game manager to our game object and then the last thing that I want to do is that I want to make sure that if we load a new scene, I don't destroy this game object. So we want to call the don't destroy on load to make sure that that doesn't happen. And then the last thing, I'm going to remove that line. I'm going to return the instance. So just to kind of walk you through, we're going to check to see if the current instance is null. Then we're going to do a search in the scene for any object types of game manager. Then we're going to check to see if the instance is still null, meaning that we didn't find any instances of game manager. Then we're going to create a new game object. We're going to set the game object name to be the type name. Then we're going to use the game object type that we created it and assign a game manager object to it. And then we're going to make sure that we don't destroy that game object when we're loading a, loading a new scene. Then after that, we're just going to return the instance. The next thing that I want to do is this works great if you want to access that instance from basically another manager. So the but what if you want that instance to get created automatically when we assign it to another game object? So we can do that on the awake. And the way that it's gonna work is we're gonna say, okay, let's check to see if instance is equal to null. And then if it is null, because it has already been, it, it hasn't been created, but we have it in the this that is assigned to the game object. So we're gonna associate the instance to this. And then we're also gonna say, make sure that we don't destroy the game object. If we load a new scene, else we will destroy the game object because we don't want the game object to, to basically if we assign a new game object, the component of game manager. If we already have one instance in the scene, we're basically going to destroy it because we don't want multiple singletons. So the way that this is going to work is if we call the property instance, like I was saying from another light map from the light manager, we will get just one instance. The other way is say that we want to associate this game manager to a game object that we manually create through the hierarchy. Well, what's going to happen is we're also going to, it's also going to work because we're going to, we're going to create it this way. 
And when we call the instance method of game manager, it's basically gonna get it's basically gonna be already associated since we already associated in the awake. So this works both ways. And we can actually go in and I'm gonna actually copy this code. I'm gonna go into the light manager and we're gonna paste all that code and I'm gonna replace any instance of game manager with light manager. And the same thing here, and all of that looks, looks great. Perfect. Okay, so how do we how do we actually test this to make sure that, that it is working? So let's go back into Unity, and let's see, make sure that we're not getting, oh, these are just warnings from another package that I have, so we can ignore that. And so if you look at these, we, we have the game manager attached to the game manager, the light manager attached to the light manager, which what's gonna happen is if we go into when the awake executes, it's gonna associate the current instance to the variable, the private variable static instance. So that, that should still work. So if I hit play, it's gonna turn the lights off. So that stuff still works and you can notice the the of them got attached to the don't destroy and load. So if we load a new scene, those are gonna remain in memory. So what I wanna do, instead of doing it this way, I'm actually gonna create a new game object and I'm gonna call that game object managers. And I'm actually gonna remove this too. And what I'm gonna do with the, with the managers is I'm gonna create a new a script and I'm gonna just call it managers because I want you to see that this will work even if we don't attach it to another game object. So I'm gonna create a script, call it managers, hit enter. And now I wanna open that up. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do this on the start of the managers. So I'm gonna basically create a light manager, light manager equal and we're gonna get the light manager singleton. With capital L instance. And that should give us that instance. And we're gonna do the same thing with the game manager. And what I wanna do is I want to go back into Unity. I'm gonna hit play. And if everything works, we should see both of those instances created in the don't destroy it unload. So even though we didn't attach the game manager or the light manager directly to this game object, they got created because of our new implementation that we have done in the instance. So a game object got created by default because the instance didn't exist. And then the name of that game object got assigned to the type then we added the light manager component and we told it not to destroy it on load. And that's what we're seeing right here. So this is what Unity recommends as a standard. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know through the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share the video. Thank you guys.